Okay, cool. I only see one baby piggy, so I think one of my pigs grew up. So that's that's the first time I've managed to uh, reap the benefit of actually breeding the animals. I'm going to pop in there real quick and see about maybe getting some more breeding going. Let's see, you are good, and you. Okay, that worked. And then how about you and you? That also worked. And then you are ready to breed. I could swear there was another... There we go. And there they go. Alright, so now I think there's three sets of parents and three new baby piggies. So this is working out pretty good. And as far as the sheep, cows, and chicks are concerned, they haven't grown up yet. So we're going to have to wait a little bit on that. And you guys... Oh, I guess you guys are actually ready to breed again, aren't you? Uh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, wait, no. Okay, it worked. There's a new chick. Okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe you don't have to wait until they're fully grown. Oh! Wait, I think, I think my baby cow grew up. So, I can get some more cows going, too. I can't reach you. Let's head inside here. You and you. There we go. Okay, cool. So, that's something new I learned then, that they don't have to be... Their babies don't have to be fully grown up before they can start breeding again. They can actually apparently get right to it pretty quickly. Wait, I have one that's ready to breed. Right there. But they have some kind of a cooldown period. So it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to wait until they're completely grown up. I don't know if I got the right ones there or not. It seems like I only had one pig that was ready to make with the breeding again, which is okay. That's all right for now. So yeah, things are looking good with all of that. Oh, eggs, better go get those. Go, got some eggs. Can I get some chickens out of it? No chickens. Get out of here, get away from the door. Get, 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 come on. Uh, come here, maybe. Come hither. I'm gonna have to put more gates on this setup so that I don't have animals escape. No, why? Why would you go there right when I come in here? Why would you do that? Bad sheepy, bad baby sheep, bad lamb. There we go. All right. Yeah, so I think I'm getting the hang of the animal breeding thing. It's not too difficult. Uh, there was just a few things I didn't know about it, but now it makes some sense. Um, so the next thing I'm going to want to do here is probably get that automatic wheat farm going. Or at least a any kind of a wheat farm at all at this point. Because uh, if I'm going to continue breeding animals, I'm going to run out of wheat pretty quickly. The only question is, how do I want to set this up? What the heck? What the... Okay. I had a temporary Ender Enderman visit in broad daylight. And then he went and took off, so I don't know what that was about. So I just won't worry about it. Um... So the first thing I wanted to do here is to do a quick test and see uh, how far a single block, a single source block of water will keep a uh, tilled dirt block fed. Uh, I know it's, it, it is or was four blocks horizontally. Uh, I'm kind of wondering what happens to this block over here if 
it's four blocks diagonally as well. Which, if that works, then it should work for... If I can reach, there we go. It should work for wheat. And then I can have maximal uh, tilled earth that's getting fed with water without having to have water all over the darn place. And of course, it would reach from there to here, like so. So yeah, the question at this point is just going to be whether or not that stays tilled. And if so, then this will probably be my entire uh, wheat area here. And it looks like it is getting fed with water right there in the corner. So both, corner, both corners are dark, so that means they're getting uh, water from that location. And I need to go find my wheat seeds. Now, the automated portion of this is going to be to figure out where to send all the, the uh, water. And that may mean that I'm going to have to change this a little bit because water only travels eight. So maybe it would be one, two, three, four, six, seven. I might just go seven. I'm not sure. Well, I will tweak this as I go. And then whatever portion of this doesn't work out for being part of the automated wheat farm, it'll end up being uh, pumpkins and melons. Okay, so this is the initial layout here for the moment. Uh, it's a little bit bulky looking, but the concept is all of this dirt here is uh, fed by an infinite water source that I have over here. Figured I might as well just do it like that so that I have free access to my infinite water, as well as taking care of the farm. Uh, right here are going to be two water source blocks, and here there will be regular pistons. Normally they will be up. And what will happen is that I'll have a, uh, a button press or something similar that will take the pistons down, the water will flow out, and dump all of the wheat and seeds, if we still get seeds, I don't know if that's changed, into this collection area here. And yeah, this is a fairly small one, uh, but I believe that it could be expanded pretty easily. I could. Uh, I could easily stack this straight up in the air if I wanted to, or I could do a, uh, a design where I have more that kind of stack off in a staircase fashion, although that probably wouldn't look as nice. So the next thing I need to do is to kind of create the uh, basement, so to speak, of this place that will contain the redstone, which is not going to be... shouldn't be a complex thing at all. It should be fairly rudimentary. So I'm going to go ahead and get on that. Oh, dang it. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, very sneaky, very very sneaky creeper. That was uh that was actually impressive for a creeper. He waited until he got all the way down the stairs so he could walk in front of me and show me his stupid face before exploding. So now I have a little bit of cleanup to do. All right, I now have a uh, nice simple system set up. All I have to do is flip the switch, water runs out. Doesn't quite make it all the way down, so I had a miscalculation there because the, the water starts one block back. Uh, but technically it's okay because I'll be standing right here. Well, it's easily revised, so I will, uh, I will tweak that. And I can turn it off again. Easy peasy.
Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, no. No, piggies, no. No, no, no. No. Oh. God. <sighs> this is why you don't work at night. Now I'm going to have to, uh, now I'm going to have some problems here. No piggies, no. Get, get back in. Get back in. Go on now. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. This design seems to do a perfectly fine job of delivering water down. And covering the entirety of the wheat field. And I might be able to stack this in an interesting way. Because I'm thinking about putting another field right over top of this one. To see how it will do. Yes. This could be pretty interesting. The only trouble then will be lighting. I'll have to figure out some way of lighting it up appropriately. So that the wheat will grow.
tests seem to be pretty good. I've still got my infinite spring here. I have a single source block behind this block because that's the uh, that's what's keeping the second level fed. Uh, I've already got water running through here as you can see and that was to test that the uh, water was going to reach everywhere. And then next to my ladder here, you can probably notice this weird door. And if some of you put the two and the uh, two and two together already, you've figured out what the uh, issue with that is. Is that obviously replanting after a harvest would be uh, really difficult with this setup. So I have uh, put a door there so that I can reach all the covered areas. Uh, as far as this part here goes, up on top, uh, I should be able to reach everything by just running around on top. Uh, I am going to have to test this situation because I didn't think about the fact that I couldn't get in there. But it's probably not a big deal. But I'm going to throw some water up top side real quick to find out what the story is. Here it comes, and out it goes. <laughs> so that is indeed a problem. And I'm sure that I could I could probably do something like this to just stop the flow altogether. Yeah. That'll stop the flow and then I can just have a nice sort of walk up spot here is going to be a lot more convenient and I think actually a little bit more centered as you can see it's all kind of driving down this middle line which is definitely preferable so just have it just like that very nice okay now I'm going to want to get my pistons figured out which clearly those are going to probably be right on the ends like this. I'm not carrying them around anymore. Let me go get them. And there it is, I think. Very simple functionality. Yep. Just like that. Nothing to it. I just have a simple torch stack there. And if I come up here, that torch stack is powering this redstone, which is powering these pistons. Which are holding back the water. That's it. Nothing more to it than that. Uh, it's very simple, but I like things that are simple like that. Which I think leaves only the question of actually lighting this sucker up. Which I think I'm going to achieve very easily through adding some glowstone to the walls. Uh, up here I'm not really too concerned because this layer is always going to get sunlight exposure but the uh, layer on the bottom obviously is going to not get any exposure to anything so for that I'm going to have to uh, come on now oh that's not gonna work okay <laughs> Did I get that one okay I got that one um, there we go. So I'm going to put some glowstone in the walls and that's going to keep this set lit here. Although, oddly enough, it seems like they're fairly happy with their situation as is. So I don't know what's up with that. 
Yeah. So now I have a, uh, a automated farm of my own design. It's probably not the best automated farm design ever conjured up, but I think it's not too shabby. And that's going to be a fairly decent yield. Two 5x4s in a reasonably small area. It's not a huge automated farm or anything like that, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the result myself. I just have to wait for it to grow. I also need to hit the bed before I get paid another visit again and, and get retaught the same lesson over again. So I'm going to do that.